What is going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists and welcome to this video response and in this video I'm responding to Vince Ventura's topic of the week which is regarding display boards and what do I think of them and I thought this was an interesting one I'd like to do a video response to this because display boards, although it's not something I've ever done um, I have thought about it a lot and the reason is now <coughs> Now Vince is along the, um, he's heading along the the the, uh, the road of um, he doesn't think there's a lot of point to them, and I can see that point of view. I really can. Um, if you're using them for tournaments, now I'm not a tournament player. Never been in a tournament. I'm a I'm a beer and pretzels person only. I'm afraid, but I have thought about um, doing display boards. When the only reason I've ever thought about doing them is for photography purposes. I'd like to get into, at some stage in the future, more photography work with, with the models. And um, I, I feel with a display board I could, rather than just a diorama, which is just like a static thing, I, I could do um, multiple different kind of uh, scenes and things like that. And I could set them up as to how I wanted them. and kind of construct them almost like a Lego building, you know, um, in terms of, you know, I want this piece of terrain here and, you know, and do a kind of modular thing, but on a display board, that's the kind of thing I would like to do it for. Um, now I've seen like, going off topic a little bit here, display cases um, or shelving units, like you can get, I've seen some amazing ones that people have and they're all lit and behind glass and they're lovely. Um, um, one day in the future, uh, it'll probably be when we move actually, and you know, the studio moves uh, with us, and uh, Mini Warzone will be expanded upon. And um, I will probably convert units like that into display units with a proper background and buildings and that. And then, whatever army I put in there, it'll just it will look like it's it's in a little mini diorama, so to speak. But anyway, but that's the that's the reason I thought about doing a display board. And, and Vince is right in terms of you know they you know they're just going to take up space, gathering dust pretty much until the next time you use it, the tournament. But um, yeah, if I had the space, I would certainly consider doing some, just to keep my armies on when I want to set up a photography uh, situation and um, as well as that as as things get bigger and I get people round and things it would be nice to do like the battle reports kind of like so so this is so and so's army and then this is my army and just have each army on it like a separate display board just enough to just give it a little bit of flavour I suppose but they do things like that do take up space and time, of course, to make. Uh, and I'm also um, sharing um, Vince's philosophy on, you know, I, I find it hard to do terrain. I do do it, and I do enjoy it, but I'd rather be doing the actual models themselves. So it is difficult for me. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Anyway, I would, I would do it, but for photography um, only. Because I've got a light box, like a homemade light box, and that's all nice and good. You can get the model... Um, set up in there with the white background and it, it looks nice but I would like to do photography in a, in a more I don't know kind of more like they have in the magazines type of thing and one day who knows in the future I might want to do write a book of my own on wargaming or submit some articles to magazines or whatever I'd like to use my own photography and because um, I'm quite into into that kind of thing, you know, with the media background and so on. So, um, you know, that's what I would use it for, photography. But um, other than that, I probably wouldn't have a use for it at all. Um, I do agree. Other than that, it, I, for me, it's uh, it's kind of um, it's got no um, purpose as such. But uh, yeah, so that's my response to uh, this topic of the week. Um, but it's a very good topic. I enjoy it, and I'm going to enjoy looking, uh, reading, and watching all the responses to this one. So until the next time, guys. Remember, all brushes lead to war, and bye for now.